Welcome back and we go straight into this face off with Nalin Kohli and Manojit Mondal because it is all about Bengal. What is happening in Bengal because if Bengal were to go with the kind of definition that it did, if Italy were to go with such for such definitions then they would have had less than 100 deaths not 20000 deaths. There are so many points that stand out here and is uh, it's this unnecessary politics which is allowing the pandemic to win. Nalin Kohli of the BJP with us, Manojit Mandal uh, with us, political analyst. He's a professor, but he's also uh, a, a supporter of the Trinamool. So I've seen a lot of his Facebook posts, but somewhere, Manojit, I, I, I just feel that I need to just jump in sometimes during your live and then have a, a live debate with you on Facebook. We'll do it someday. But right now, let's understand what is going on in Bengal. Why, why, why this utter, uh, you know, uh, refusal to be transparent? Is that the case? I mean, Let me ask you that. It is is the problem with uh, one, one, one part of the media. I would certainly not say that it's your, your, your uh, network, but one part of the media is, uh, I think, I think, uh, obsessively compulsive with whatever Bengal is doing. I mean, this is this is quite strange, quite bizarre. I mean, I mean, I give you an example of the cases in Bengal, 1548 being the second largest state in the country. Hmm. Gujarat, 5,000, over 5,000, Delhi, near 5,000. Hmm. Nobody is talking about Bengal. Nobody is talking about Gujarat or Delhi. What is happening? And you are talking about the deaths. I think... The, the, no, enough, sir, I, I just finished a 40-minute debate talking about these. the top 10 cities, including the states and their contribution. But the fact is, sir, all these states have been transparent. The issue with issue is about transparency is the issue is to try and brush aside comorbidity comorbidity is something which has been a term which has been associated with covid 19 because this disease affects those people who have a morbidity who have an underlying yes. uh, uh, issue which suppresses their immunity or for which they are taking immun immunosuppressants so then why which state has had a death uh, audit committee please tell me I'll which answer. was actually I'll, rationalizing I'll the number I'll of deaths which state has been reported answer. with which was actually burying bodies or uh, or cremating bodies in I'll the answer. dead of the night without uh, giving details and number, that too in areas where people are wondering one, yeah, kahan se kar first rahe question, which other state did we get these first, reports Will you please tell me mr manojit mandal yeah first questions about the audit committee it is not exactly an audit committee it's an expert committee consisting of five very senior doctors of the state who were there to assess the deaths causes of the deaths and that's according to who guideline Amin. Even, even if you see the you know uh, uh, Ministry of Health Affairs guideline, they are now saying that 70% COVID death. What Bengal government has done, they have distinguished the exclusive COVID death and the COVID deaths with comorbidities. And that's, that's the thing they have done. And there is nothing wrong in it. Mind you, Anand, this disease is extremely new. And I tell you, okay. nobody in the world is a COVID did, expert. Did, did, so respectfully, no let COVID me ask you. If they are uh, so, I, 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 I tell it's not about way, not new. Why did, why did the number of and deaths number get revised two, then? Question you number tell me, two, sir. we are talking why about the, the number, cremation of dead bodies. Nalin Kohli, Nalin Kohli, please come in. I'm just going to read some of the flashpoints between the centre and the state. The centre said 10 districts were in red zone, West Bengal said 4. Centre warned Bengal on not allowing IMCTs to properly function. Then, Bengal accused centre of deliberately undersupplying PPEs and testing kits. Then, it was, then it came on the third. 30th of April, Centre told about 931 uh, cases. Chief Secretary Rajiv Sinha put the count at 744. Then, Bengal forced to revise criteria for calculating the death toll. This happened in May. Uh, but between the 1st and the 4th of May, there was no information that came and then suddenly there was, a, there was a spike of death. Bengal then initially refused to add comorbidity deaths and those numbers were then added to the COVID-19 figures. So, all of this has happened. The government, the, is it not true that Bengal government revised your figures from 18 to 57, threefold? You know, Anand, Bengal is... Mr. Nalan Kohli, who's at fault? Statistics and facts. When it comes to statistics and facts, unfortunately, regrettably, Bengal is becoming a theater of the absurd. It's even worse. If you go to the Twitter timeline of my colleague in the party, Amit Malviya, you'll see the kind of data that he's showing the mismatch. Bengal says and the chief minister says that over the last one month we've reached out to 5.5 crore households. The total number of households in Bengal according to the 2011 census is 2 crores. So where have these balanced 2.5 crore households arrived from? If you assume that there are 4 people in a household that makes it 22 crores the population. Whereas Bengal's official population is 9.8 crores. I mean, you have given out certain figures, this whole comorbidity issue, not cooperating with the centre. What is it that Bengal has decided to hide? That's a government that is supposed to serve the people that elected it. They are supposed to come out with the truth. 
COVID-19 is not knocking on a door and checking whether you are a supporter of the Trinamool Congress or not. It can affect anyone. It can affect anyone of any religion, any region, anything. And we've seen what one Tablighi Jamaat could do an event. If Bengal does not get its act together, it puts not just Bengal, but the neighboring states and even beyond others at risk. They need to get their act together. Stop blaming the media. If the media is doing the fact story, no, but it doesn't what mean gives that the, the media impression, is biased. Kohli, and what gives the BJP the impression that uh, Mamta Banerjee is not concerned or the Trinamool is not concerned about the state of Bengal and its people? Why should... Well, is, there, is there a deliberate you tell me one thing. It is what is this whole thing? Have, have you found another committee? Anywhere because she's any feisty state? and she will stand up to the centre? Well, let's go one by one. This is not a political fight. This is a global pandemic. And Bengal is neither out of India nor out of the globe. So let's get the facts clear and let's look at what happens. In this pandemic, anyone who displays a certain set of symptoms must be tested. Bengal itself said, out of the 91,000 people who have come to the state, some 900 of them, 875 of them, displayed the flu-like kind of flu -like kind of symptoms that were to be checked. Of which 375 had, 372 to be precise, had respiratory issues, which is a symptom to be seen seriously from COVID-19. Only 62 tests, 7.1 or 7.2 percent. What is it that Bengal is so fearful of? If the numbers are high, it does not mean Bengal has failed. If the numbers are high, people will get treated, people will get quarantined, people will be taken care of. It does not mean that you hide them and then you start even hiding the fact who's died of what. If a person has COVID-19, we need to know who did that person come in touch with? Is his family at risk? Can it explode any further? It's, it, it's a basic requirement. But Bengal's entire politics is now really supposed to be, hmm. let's hide the truth. Let's get our own narrative out. Let's write our own script. Even if the script is leading us to absurdity. No. Well, let, 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 Manojit, Mandal, let, let Manojit Mandal respond to that. Pathikrit Payan is watching the debate and he says that Bengal did this with dengue also. You tried to call it as a fever which is of unknown causes should be called Ajana Jor. Rather than call it? Rather than call it dengue. So, ye pehle bhi kiya hai. that's the uh, allegation made. Please respond. Yes, I mean, I mean, I mean, this is this is this is not just absurd as far as Mr. Kohli is concerned. And BJP and someone like Amit Malviya, they are happy about predicting doom for Bengal. Mr. Malviya, one day on television channel with me, said mm. that Bengal. Hmm. What does what does he want to do? Does he wish do for Bengal? I mean, Mr. Kohli is not uh, five five point five four thousand. But what Amit Malviya says is politically politically led politically right? led. So even I if the even if he is trying to quote numbers, let me clear quote. This is a this is a that Mr. Malviya comes from a university Ma that doesn't Ma Manuji, really exist. Manuji, I am reading. The virtual reality, I am reading. Right. So we, we, we are not going into that. Uh, that One I, I don't want to all. speak over you, Manoj. Just give me th 10 seconds. I'm just reading. I am just reading 7th of May 2020, an article in yes. the Deccan Chronicle, which is headlined 91,500 yes. cases of influenza like cases found in Bengal. 91,515 cases of influenza like illness, ILI. 872 cases of sari or severe acute respiratory illness found in bengal right i mean, I mean uh, uh, no. now, what should we what, infer? what you are what you are referring to i think is a bizarre claim it's laughable I and mean, the kind of scenario that you are trying to present i mean you mean the bjp it means that in every other household there is a covid case and people are not aware of it despite the fact that in the last three months, people are talking about the symptoms and the people in Bengal, they are so illiterate, so uneducated that they are not aware of it. This is an insult to the people of Bengal. And, and the way Mr. Malviya and Mr. Nolinkul, they are trying to, trying to, in a sense, you know, brand us that on every lanes and by lanes, there are COVID deaths, dead bodies are lying everywhere. What are you talking about? Only five, one, five, four, eight cases out so, of 53,000. So, sir, I said 91,515 cases. Have some, have some this is the official number as detailed by my Mamata Banerjee, saying 5.57 crore households were surveyed. This is what... If there are two, two life uh, symptoms, may people I are aware of them, and people will come out and test. 
and and the government will yeah, do what are the household uh, 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 5.5 uh, crore actually, household it of not I mean, we we'll see how it pans out at the end of the day it is it is the interest of the people i have to wind up the debate manojit mandal nalan koli short but sharp debate fantastic this one before we wind up well the touch of music continues we will have somebody very very special joining us on friday evening it's a father daughter combination joining us i can give you that much of a hint but you have to wait for the real uh, uh, the till till friday but as we say Uh, goodbye and good night this evening here is a throwback which none other than sonu nigam himself shared from the mahabharat 